And welcome back. You're watching Breakfast Television on City, holding a gold medal from the Vancouver 2010 Olympics. We're talking Olympics this morning because the PyeongChang Games are now underway. We're specifically talking about how inspiring athletes are in the lives of children. And that's where Steve Messer comes in. This is Steve's medal, of course. <laughs> but, I mean, it, you... Yeah. You could have gone. You could have passed it off. For you. Yeah, sure, right. Yeah. Four man bobsleigh was the event that he won for Team USA in Vancouver. Uh, now Steve runs an organization that he co-founded called Classroom Champions, and you pair Olympic and Paralympic athletes um, with kids, and not just five kids, ten kids, with thousands of kids, right? We've mentored our athletes have mentored over 25,000 kids wow. across the, the continent over the last 6 years. So. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to talk about what's going on, but I I got to ask you right now, like okay. do, you, do you have butterflies? Are you nervous? Are you excited I'm ex with the athletes walking I'm in excited. Morning, I'm opening? excited. This yeah. is like I mean it's been now it's been 8 years, but I went to like 3 in a row. So yeah. like that it's like a Pavlovian response for me. <laughs> like I the Olympics come and I get, you know, I get excited and I get nervous for them and like on the American side, Aaron Hamlin's carrying our flag. I've known Aaron yeah. since she was 15 years old oh, wow. and I had okay. to knock on their door at the training center and tell her and her roommates to be quiet at midnight because <laughs> we were training for the Olympics back in 2001 and now she's carrying the flag for our country so you know and to watch all of our friends that are Canadians and all of our class and champions athletes who have been doing this and giving back for years it's fun and because I know what they're experiencing that's awesome yeah. and, and so how many classroom champions athletes are competing in South Korea we've got oh I mean we've got, yeah we've got head. 16 or 17 of them Wow that are there between the US and Canada um, we've got upwards of about 10 Canadian athletes that are that's outstanding that are yeah it's great I mean and think about all the kids that are yeah that that's their person that's their Olympian and you know they've been communicating with them all year long and learning from them and now they're gonna get to go home and watch them do this. It's talk talk yeah. about a like a hometown rooting squad. You oh, know what it's I mean? great. For these yeah, athletes, these, yeah. I mean, these these athletes are rock stars <laughs> in their classrooms, which is exactly how we want them to be. Okay, so we have almost a dozen from Canada. Yeah. Uh, we, you wanted to highlight three this morning, and the first one is uh, Bridget Laquette. And Bridget, you were saying, is the first Indigenous hockey player for Team Canada, right? For the women's team. Yeah, for, for the, the women's, women's team side. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's outstanding. Yeah, and she's been mentoring kids in our circle program across the across the country and nice. on reserve and off reserve uh, schools. So imagine you know, you're in these places, whether it is you know here in Calgary through the Calgary Foundation schools across across the Calgary area or up in Anzac, you know, and this is your person. Okay. And you know she she comes from you know she she you know she comes from Manitoba yeah. and she comes from small town Manitoba and she's excelling and do these things and you know kids can see themselves in her. And, of course. And she's amazing. Of course. Um, a couple of other people that are, are your mentors uh, this year are um, uh, Tristan Walker and Justin Sniff. Yeah. Uh, two men lose, yeah. right? They're going to be coming up so really soon. Yeah. yeah, they compete very soon here. Yeah, and, metal they're, and they're medal hopefuls. Metal hopefuls too. In, yeah. both, in both the doubles event as well as the team event. Nice. For Canada, yeah. That's outstanding. A couple of guys helping out with kids. And last but not least is Marsha, uh, Marsha Hoody, yeah. um, a speed skater, right? Speed skater. And, and yeah. she did something really cool. So tell us about this video we're seeing right here. So she surprised her kids here in Calgary in one of her schools here. And they thought they were doing a Skype with her. And all of a sudden, next thing she knows, they know she walks in. Um, and she was featured on national news last night as well for this. Really? And um, yeah, I mean, it just shows these athletes, are, they're working their butts off. And yeah. they're, ready for, they're ready to go and they're ready to compete. But they've also spent their time teaching kids how to set goals. I mean, our kids, you know, they know how to set goals like Olympian. Like, that's sure. just their normal thing. That's a normal oh, thing. Oh, you, you're really good at setting goals. How'd you learn? I'm my Olympian taught. That's right. You know, I mean, it's a, great, it's a great way to be able to step through and help teachers put these things into their curriculum. That's outstanding. Classroom champions. Right, quickly, if people want to find out more information, what do they do? They're going to head to classroomchampions.org. Yeah. Um, but we've also partnered with the Canadian Olympic Committee during the Olympic Games. Awesome. Athletes are going to take over Team Canada House on February 22nd at 10 a.m. here, which means it's going to be 2 in the morning there. Yeah. And people can go to teamcanadachampionchats.ca and sign up. And every school across Canada is eligible for this. Oh, every man. single school, whether you are a class and champion school or not. So we're encouraging districts to sign up. Surrey, the largest district in British Columbia, has already signed up. Sure. Uh, Calgary Board of Education, <laughs> Calgary Catholic Schools. Uh, we've got messages out um, and our teachers. So, you know, if you're a parent who's got, you know, who's got your kid in school, you know, men, make sure your teacher hops on. They're going to get lesson plans from our athletes. So Haley Wickenheiser, there's a lesson from Haley on there. What? Uh, Bridget Laquette. Yeah. Uh, about goal setting, about perseverance. Um, so, yeah, so we're encouraging folks to go there and sign on. Uh, Steve is going, by the way, he's going to the gold medal women's ice hockey team. And it may be Team USA, Team Canada. Uh, with, I, you and your wife are going We're going be, with a group of you Americans. And your wife are going to be. And I've already warned them. I was like, <laughs> I, you know, my wife, is Rhiannon, is really good about, like, we're yeah. there as, you know, through some U.S. Olympic Committee work I do, even though, you know, we're Calgarians. Yeah. And I was like, just be warned that, like, I can't control that. You can't turn like, it off. I can't turn that <laughs> off. 
Um, we can put her on the end if we want. Sure. But that's going to be, we, so we're going to have a blast with her. All right. We won't hold it against you guys. Yeah. Good luck. Have, yeah. have a Thank safe you guys. Trip Thank you for having us on. And, and classroom uh, champions, guys, look it up if you can. Get yeah. your teacher involved if you can. We have a 